Hello guys, this is a Creeper Slayer tutorial brought to you by Creeper Slayer. Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing off a cocoa bean farm. It's automatic, basically, just with the hit of a button, or you can hook it up to a daylight sensor and put hoppers down here. I'll show you how to do that too. But I'm just going to show you what it does right now. So you you plant all your cocoa beans right here when you push the button. It goes like that. It breaks every one of them. And you just have to plant them manually. That's just the way cocoa beans work. But you get 48 out of it every time. Every time. It should be 48 or like one or two less probably. But it's very, very simple. Um, the button is just connected right here to this torch. So when you hit the button, it turns off the torch right here. Turns off this whole signal, and right here you need to have a torch. So basically, what it does is when you push this button, the torch turns off, which makes this torch turn on, which powers these two pistons, right? Because you go like this, yeah, see? So then when this is over here, there's that torch under here, remember? So it comes over here. I think I screwed something up. <laughs> oh well. well. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. To fix it, we'll go like that. Okay, so now we're back to normal. So now, right when that, when these ones start pushing, they can push it to right here. And then, this, since there's a torch right here, and then there will be a block right here, it will power through the block, this redstone, turn off this torch, and make these ones push. So right as that one pushes, and then goes back in, these ones will push it back. So every time you push it, it will, here, to make this easier, pick up our cocoa beans, and if we stick our one block right here, that'll help for demonstration. So just watch that, that one block. Okay, watch it again. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see it. Stuff's happening, okay? <laughs> it's really, really fast. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't working for some reason. I just stopped recording and started recording, and for some reason it worked. So, I'm gonna push a button. For some reason, it's not recording the piston push. But it pushes the piston, just pushes, pushes every one of these blocks this way, then these ones push them back. So nothing moves, nothing happens, sorry about that, I don't know why it's not doing it, but it works. So, we're going to build it really fast, okay? So I'll be right back. So, first thing you want is to build a little platform, any any block you want. I think that this jungle wood planks so looks, looks very nice. And then you want to go like this. And then we'll just do more jungle wood planks down here. That's just my block preference, because it's a it's jungle, cocoa bean farm, and you have to have this jungle wood. It has to be jungle wood, no other wood will work. And you just get whatever block you want, just to cover the pistons, so it will go right there. Uh, one thing that's nice about this is you don't need sticky pistons. Normal pistons will work. So then, over like over here, so we skip a block. forgot to do that right here. Skip a block. And place your piston there, there, and over here, right next to it. Okay, and then you will build your. Okay, so I'll show you right here. I put these blocks right here, one over here, two over here, just to cover the pistons. So we we will do that. So one here. Nope, not there. Okay, so there. So that's good. And then, if you wanted, you could put the wall just right here instead. So now, like that. Just like this. This is just so you don't see all the wiring. And then you get your wooden button or normal button. It, it doesn't matter. Place a torch on the opposite side of the block as the button. Then right down here, just go like this. With the redstone dust. Okay, so 
a way to make these pistons push that's really easy is just place a torch and then a block and then they will both push same thing over here torch block but they can't push because these ones already are and they can't push a pushing piston so then we're just gonna take this over here you don't have to put on a block like I'm doing but I'm gonna do it to make it look nice and just for the sake of demonstration so then you line this with redstone dust or wire whatever you want to call it then right here okay so that turns that off then there's a torch right under here remember we put that there okay <laughs> I pushed a block already before I could place it oh well okay so then over here let's go like this we need to put a torch okay so now let's check it oh. <laughs> So let's go snag a cocoa bean. Oh, they're all gone. We'll find one. Okay, let's test this, make sure it works. Okay, two rows. In this one we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cocoa beans. Eight cocoa beans on this one. Yep. So two rows of eight gives us sixteen. And then we put a slab. Let's go jungle wood, just to fit our theme. Put it along the top, because sometimes they will catch up here. Go on, place. And then I, I will show you how to do the daylight sensor. Right now. Okay, so to do the daylight sensor, it's kind of tricky. Um, but what you want to do is you need to you have to take out these two uh, you know, I know it's it's pretty horrible <laughs> so let's get a daylight sensor where are you where are you daylight sensor there you are a repeater and a sticky piston it could be a normal piston but then you'll have to use a different block because we are going to be making a <laughs> one tick pulse it's not that hard so what you want to do is go like this, stick your repeater there, then any block right there. If it's if this is it, if you don't have sticky pistons, slime balls for sticky pistons for some reason, it can be a normal one, but this would have to be gravel, and it would work just the same. Then you put your daylight sensor there, and this. Okay. And then, so now. See, so now every day we do slash time set 16,000 let's yep I'm peaceful so now it's dark um there's no power coming off the daylight sensor we'll get some cocoa beans again and place them along here the problem with uh automating it is is that that grew already wow okay the problem with automating it is you have to replant it by hand so now if we do to just symbolize the normal day slash time set day it'll harvest it but then you have all these cocoa beans wasted sitting on the floor and we don't want that so then the only way of doing it really is if you get hoppers and then you can get slabs any kind and you would just have to go like this tear out your floor this is this is up to you you don't have to do this and then we will just go like we'll get a chest okay and you know how hoppers work you just have to connect them place them next to each other hold shift so you don't access the hopper you just go like this and go like that so that works right but you might you might want to stick with the jungle wood right I would so then you can just tear them out and then okay so now 
we'll just put our chest right here because I'm not going to make a items moving upward tutorial right now. Tear out one block deep beneath your floor. And just go like this. Place these here. Same way as before, but this way it's just a block lower. And it looks nicer this way. So that's what we're going to do because it's not worth it if it doesn't look nice, right? Yeah. Okay. So now you get your slabs. Nope. Just one. Because hoppers can suck items out from beneath a hopper, which is very nice. So if we d drop a block right th there or an item, the hopper will pick it up. So now if we get our cocoa beans, we plant them all along here, and then we hit our button, they'll all fall in here, and then you can see they all disappeared, the hopper picks them up, and it sticks them all into there. Very, very nice, very easy tutorial also. Um, it's, it's a very easy design. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a few more tutorials that you guys will be seeing. Um, one of them that will be a obsidian farm, a automatic chicken uh, grower, just grows more chickens. Um, yeah, a few other things. And so I hope you guys love, love, love this video. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Peace.